At any moment, we could see Russian forces invade Ukraine. We're closely following the growing tension there. And as we came on the air, the Kremlin said Russian President Vladimir Putin is ordering forces to maintain peace in eastern Ukraine. But it is not immediately clear whether or when troops would enter the country. Now, just hours before that, the White House announced President Biden will authorize new sanctions against Russia. Vice President Kamala Harris spoke with allied leaders about the direct threat that poses to European security. While Ukraine is prepared for an attack at any moment, those who live near the border say the arrival of American troops has brought a sense of security to the region. Now, Ukrainian Americans are weighing in, saying even here in central Ohio, this is an extremely concerning event that could impact us. Here's 10 TV's Brian Somerville. This is kind of scary to contemplate in 21st uh, century, the possibility of something like this coming back to humanity. Mariana Klochko is a Ukrainian-American and is the president of the Ukrainian Cultural Association of Central Ohio. She says Russia's pending invasion in the Ukraine is frightening for Ukrainians, for Americans, and for Ohioans. When we're talking about Third World War, if it is going to be uh, nuclear weapons, this is not going to be fun for anyone and there would be nowhere to hide, really. She refers to Russia as the evil empire that has been at war with Ukraine for the last eight years, resulting in thousands of Ukrainian deaths. Monday, the U.S. reported seeing Russia continue to make moves in the field consistent with military preparations to invade Ukraine. National security advisors have said a Russia attack could be as soon as hours away and would be extremely violent. Klochko says Putin views this kind of force as collateral damage and that human rights values have not been seen as a necessity to those who govern Russian society. Why should Americans and Central Ohioans care about what we are seeing? Well, there are... Um multiple answers to that question. Klochko uh, says, first and foremost, there's a human perspective. She says people will probably suffer, be killed. There will be many refugees fleeing their homeland. Here at home, an economic impact from electronic chip shortages to your wallet, impacting the global stock market, savings accounts, 401k, and stocks. More than that, she says there's a military impact. This could potentially, you fear, have a domino effect. Yes. She worries if Russia invades Ukraine, other countries flexing military muscle might not be far behind. As far as the international law is concerned, if we let Russia to continue doing what it's doing, then it sets a dangerous precedent on international stage, then a variety of other rogue states, potentially China, North Korea, Iran, will also decide to use their uh, military might to take over additional territories, seeing that no one in the world does anything about it. Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News.